Jesus said to love the Lord with all your heart, all your soul, all your mind, and all your strength, and to love your neighbor. This is the greatest commandment. We as a church desire to be obedient to that, and so we are built on love, regardless of location. We know that the church is about the people of God, depending on the work of God and growing in the grace of God. We are built on love, love for God and love for others. And it's on that foundation. And it's on that foundation. And it's on that foundation. And it's on that foundation that we build our church. Welcome to Built Vision, where we are focusing on building one another up in love and sharing with you, the body, the vision of what God is doing at Cornerstone and the new plans for our building project. Today on Built Vision, we have a special guest with us, Pastor Dan, who oversees our high school youth ministry. How are you doing today, Dan? I'm doing really well, happy to be here. Good, man, good, good to have you. Uh, why don't you start by just telling us briefly your story of how you ended up at Cornerstone Calvary Chapel. Yeah, I was actually going to Cornerstone for about two years when I was towards the end of high school and I actually didn't know the Lord yet. I was, mm-hmm. didn't have that relationship yet. I'd walk in every Sunday with my varsity jacket <laughs> and I'd come in. I remember that. <laughs> yeah, and I'd come in and uh, just hear the message, kind of, I understood it, but I just didn't want anything to do with it, walk out the doors. Uh, when I was 18, right after I graduated high school, through a couple different events in my life, through a, a death of uh, one of my friends in the community, the Lord drew me to Himself, and I just really started to make that relationship with the Lord my own, came to faith, and just started walking with the Lord, serving Him, and was able to get plugged in really quickly here uh, to the community, just got a lot of friends, and people just came around me and was discipled by a lot of young guys, and it was just awesome. So I've been serving the Lord ever since. That was about eight years ago. That's awesome, man. Yeah. Such a blessing to see what the Lord does. You Absolutely. Know? Absolutely. Um, so now tell us a little bit about your vision for the youth group in general. I'm actually blessed, although I wish I knew the Lord sooner. I'm blessed by my testimony that I did walk through public high school mm. not knowing the Lord. Mm. So I understand some of the things that teenagers deal with. And even at this point, some of the things have changed and youth is always shifting. The mm. culture is always shifting. But some of the things still are the same. So. My vision is to, to see kids just have that true relationship with the Lord. And mm-hmm. I think that the way that that happens is not so much of them just constantly hearing mm-hmm. the truth. Because a lot of these kids grow up in children's ministry. They know all the Bible stories. They know, you know all these things, but they never really experience God. Mm-hmm. And I think that until we have that encounter with God and, and we experience yeah. the, the work of His Spirit, then we'll never really truly understand what it means to walk with Him. So. I like where it says in James that we're to be doers of the word mm-hmm. and not just hearers only. He says that when we're hearers, we're like a man who observes his face in the mirror, sees that there's a mess on it, and then goes away and leaves. So for kids, I want them to understand what it means to be a doer of the word. Mm-hmm. So in youth ministry, as the youth pastor, I want to give them an opportunity to do that, an opportunity to serve the Lord. So we do a lot of outreach. We do evangelism, mm-hmm. uh, opportunities through missions, mm-hmm. opportunities for the kids to, to share the word on a Friday night and, and to teach and do a devotion, things like that. Just giving these kids an opportunity to understand this is what it means to, to walk in the spirit. This is what it means to trust the Lord and to allow him to give me the words to speak. I think that when we see that, we're going to see kids that leave youth ministry yeah. on fire for Jesus yeah. rather than the statistic where you see so many high school students just walking away when they go to college. And it's because it's all in their head, but they never really see God work in their heart. So just looking to see kids transform through the work of the Spirit. We teach the Word every week um, faithfully, verse by verse. And I know that through that, God's going to do the work and, and transform their hearts. Amen. Amen. It's such a such a cool thing such an amazing thing, the youth ministry. I know in my life as a kid, I was so impacted by the youth ministry of our church and um, and just seeing how so many of these kids are are growing in the Lord. And then when they're done with high school, they're they're not done with their walk with God. And that's really the goal, right? Absolutely. Is to prepare them for what's next. And so so now let's talk about the the big exciting news for the youth ministry, especially I feel like (laughs) um, is the new building. Yeah. Right, we have these plans to build a, a nice new building, and it's going to have a gym, multi-purpose area. So, it's going to so, have so. dedicated space for the youth ministry. Uh, so, talk to me. Tell me a, a little bit about how can the vision of youth ministry be so much more expanded uh, through a new facility? Well, I mean, how many years was I on your case about Mike? We need a gym. We, we need we need a youth building. Uh, so I'm I'm just so excited when I, when I heard that we were doing this this project. Uh, it's exciting because we want to reach the community, you know, and 
this area of Howell and Brick and Jackson, all these local areas, we want to see high school students come out and be excited. And I tell the youth all the time, invite your friends. We, we want to be in outreach here. And I think that this building is going to give us the opportunity to do that. Mm -hmm. The thing with high school students and with youth in general is they want their own space. You know, mm -hmm. they, don't, they don't want to feel like they're just in their parents' space and yeah. kind of like, yeah. you know, they want their own space where they can have it, you know, decorated the way they want and where they can kind of take ownership of it. So I think this building is going to give us the ability to do that, to really have a space where it's a youth space, it's, it's a young space. Mm -hmm. Everything about it is, mm -hmm. is structured in that way where we have worship there, we have a gym. Uh, that gym is going to enable us to do just a lot more ministry, uh, even beyond youth ministry mm -hmm. with sports and with, yeah. I think that the Lord can open up doors for sports camps and, yeah. and things like that. It's just outreaches, open gyms to the community mm -hmm. where you bring people in and share the gospel. So just really excited for how that extra space is going to enable us to to reach people and ultimately you know that's that's what this building project's about you know it's, it's not just about us having more for ourselves right, so right. that we can you know it's it's about people and it's about yeah. reaching the lost and you know i think that as long as that's our heart you know, god's going to do a great thing and he's going to bless it amen amen well thanks a lot dan i appreciate you joining us today for Built Vision. Absolutely. And uh, we'll look forward to another time. We'll invite you out. Maybe we'll go get some video of some of the kids sometime and, and awesome. see how they all interact and how they might benefit from a new facility as well. Absolutely. So God bless you, man. So grateful for the ministry that you do and, and the ministry uh, that, the, that the youth are enjoying so much. So yeah. thanks a lot. Awesome. This has been Built Vision for today. Look forward to seeing you guys next time.